G'day guys, welcome back. I'm on a different table today in my studio. I'm on the table behind where I normally am because over there I've got a huge canvas that I can't move. Uh, so um, I'm going to do a swipe today just for a few people that might be getting sick of blooms and balloon dips and things like that. And uh, while I'm waiting for my other project to dry, I'm going to do a swipe. So I'm just mixing all my paints with Floetrol today. That's it there. Two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And I'm going to do a gold background. And my gold, I've used this Sargent Acrylic Metallic Gold. So that's my background. So two parts Floetrol to one part of the gold as well. So that's the background. And then my swipe colours are black, um, copper, extreme sheen copper, with a little blob of orange, just mott mart orange. And this one is rich espresso with a tiny blob of uh, dark brown, uh, what was it called? Burnt umber, just a tiny little blob, like just a half, like a little you know, fingernail dot. This one, I haven't used this one before, this one is garnet, and I put just a little blob of red, and then this one is vintage brass. I didn't want to put gold in it because the base is gold, so it's just a bit, it's a darker vintage brass, and that's just got the vintage brass in it, no other colour. Let's move those out of the way. The black is my Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic. Um, yeah, so let's get going. I haven't actually done a painting with the gold background before. So we'll see how how it spreads. I did a silver one once, a silver background with pinks, pink swipes, but uh, it didn't really work very well. The silver, um, it didn't have a very good coverage, so you can kind of see the canvas through the silver. So I'm just going to spread this and then I'll tilt it so that I can sort of feel how much is paint's left. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paint, this one. Love it. I don't use it a lot though because it's a weird consistency for my flip cups. Yeah, it's a bit, bit strange. <laughs> Takes a bit of getting used to. Right, these little cake decorators are great. Now let's just see how much I've got left on here. Looks pretty thick, doesn't it? I just need it to run over the back there. I've used this that I've dropped on my puppy pedal pads here just to coat the side there while I'm waiting for the other to run over. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to waste it. But I might have to put a little bit more on actually just to get all my, curl, my sides done. There we go. I'll change over to my little my little spatula now. So I'm basically just pushing paint over the edges with this. Pushing it over. What are you two fighting about, hey? Two dogs in here with me today. Ella's on heat, so she's staying away from the boys because she's too young. And they're not happy about that. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just finger paint the sides there. Feels pretty thick on there, but it doesn't want to, to run off when I'm tilting. So this is what I'm saying. It's, it's a weird kind of a consistency. It's, is a bit odd and I need to move these because they're all in the way now. Go up there for a minute. I was debating whether or not to put the copper in but 
so yeah I thought I'll, I'll put it in with a splash of orange but I think it's kind of gone too orange now so I don't know if I'm happy with it anymore I think that's pretty much covered now. Let's see if it wants to tilt. Not really. Come on. Probably could have made it a bit thinner, I guess. Maybe a three to one. But then I was really worried that it wouldn't it wouldn't get good coverage because I've made it too thin. You've got to be careful with the metallics. All right, let's leave it at that and get started. I can touch up my sides later on if I need to. I should better bring the weight of it back this way, hadn't I? It's a bit thin just there. When I held it up, I could see the light behind the, the canvas shining through. And I thought, oh, that's a bit light on there. Yes, metallics are difficult to use if you're going to use them as your background. I probably should have just done a black background. I was going to do black and I thought, nah, let's change it up. I always do black or navy. Right. Um, now I want to be able to see the, um, the gold underneath. So I don't want to put too much paint on. So let's pour some paint into these little cups. That way I'm not tempted to pour too much out a nice stripe. I'm only going to use a little, little bit of that um, coppery orange colour. I don't want too much of that. I basically really wanted, what I wanted was red and black um, and, and orange really. But um, I'm limited to my colours. I don't have, I only had the one red. And I thought, oh well, that's not going to help much, is it? Right, so I'm going to swipe with black um, and I want the red near the top and I want the gold near the top. So let's start with some of these and I'm going to kind of um, ziggy zag them so that when I swipe I get different colours throughout, not the, not the same colour everywhere. a little bit more let's pour a little bit more out actually I won't do that because it comes out in a big blob you're much much safer putting into a little cup like that and then you're not going to pour too much out and then the gold it's not really gold was it what was it called what were you called vintage brass just that touch darker than gold, isn't it? All right, um, now I've got my three different sizes of plastic ready to go. I just reuse these. Oops, might need a little bit more black too. So everything's been mixed to the same consistency. Two parts flow troll, two, one part paint. Oops, my gold's vanishing, uh, my black's vanishing. Let's get swiping quickly before it all disappears, hey? Oh, 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 I forgot my paper towel. Right, let's go. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Wow, and I can still see the gold through the bottom, which is nice. Okay, and again. Just try and sort of swipe that black over the top. You can see that orangey copper coming through there. So hopefully I'll get like different colours coming through, not all exactly the same because of the way I've 
sort of snaked my paint. Now, if you miss a little bit like that, don't be too concerned. Just get a little paint sample card and uh, cut it in half. Make it a little bit thinner like that. And then you can use that just to go over that little area that you've missed. It will lighten a little bit and I may go over some areas again if I'm not quite happy with the colors. Let's move my little containers out of the way. I kind of wanted it to be more dark and more reddish looking, but we will see what happens. Might have to put more black on it. Because I haven't got the black background, you see. So it is a bit lighter. That's to be expected, isn't it? Okay. Now turn it around. And do the other side. Take my hands around so I don't drip on it. And I think I'll put a little bit more black on. Just so that I can have a nice dark centre there. And I don't want to risk touching those cells when I swipe with my, my black. So I'll just put a little bit more black there. Okay. And there we go. Touch that black not to interrupt the cells that you've got on the other side. Oops, I've missed. I wonder why I've missed paint underneath. The, the background must be a bit wobbly. Yeah, I didn't get a very good coverage with that black, that gold, I must say. Um, now, all right, I'll just go over this section here. Maybe a little bit more pressure. Or a bit slower. Keep the pressure even. I'm liking this with the more black, that's for sure. Better than that side. I might have to redo that side because this has got more black. Okay, whoops. Oh, I was going to overlap so I could get that, but it's done now. I just have to use a little piece. So just take your time. Find you get a better result and don't miss as many spots if you just take your time and go slow. So I need to fix this area here that I've missed. So down we go with that one. You see how the colours are all blending nicely because of that zigzag? If you just do stripes, you just get like the same colour. You don't get that variation. I like it anyway. I like it like this. I'm liking this side much better than that side but you can't always go over again because it can thin out your paint too much you know you've already dragged your paint across so you may not want to drag any more across and thin out what you've got on the surface so sometimes you just have to be happy with what you've got um, rather than try and change things too much mm. Now the other thing I was wanting to try, I don't know if I, um, am I game, am I game? I wanted to put a little bit of gold in the middle and do little swipes with gold over the top. I just don't know if I'm game to do it on this one because this has turned out really pretty. I'm not going to worry about that little bit there. So there's no silicone in this at all. It's just the um, this extreme sheen really reacting with the flow troll. Flow Troll is a natural paint conditioner, so it has some kind of oil in it, as far as I know. All right, let's put a little bit of... This side here just needs a little bit more black, I feel. So we might do a little, little enhancements on that side. So it's not as dark as I was hoping for. And I don't know if I really like the... Um, the orange as much. Actually, I might put a little bit more red through there and then swipe 
this little area just again. Just a tiny bit there, keep it a little bit of the orange. I just don't like too much of it. And I use my small plastic there. Put a little bit more black just above the red. It's not really a red, it's, it's called garnet. It's kind of a cherry color. Oi, get down from there. The dog just jumped up on my shelf underneath just as well everything's dry under there. She's the one that I'm keeping away from the boys. She's not used to being in here, so she's sort of thinking, oh, what do I do in here? Let's just jump up onto a shelf, shall we? That was naughty, Ella. You're lucky I didn't have anything wet under there, puppy. All right, that looks better. This, this whole side here was a little bit too light. I'll leave that, I don't mind that red going across that little bit of gold there. Um, this bit of red, I find that a little bit harsh there. That's a bit too harsh. Let's put a little bit of this just there. And a little bit of the black. And where did I put my plastic on there? You can, you know, swipe again in a couple of areas if you're not happy with a section. Now I just missed that one little bit there. So we'll go again with this little thin one. And always take your swipe tool or whatever you're using around it and drip back into your gorgeous painting. Well, that's better, isn't it? I have to think of another colour scheme where I can get this this sort of garnet colour with maybe a darker red. Hmm. Um, now this is what I was wanting to do. I wanted to see if I could swipe the gold. What would happen if I swiped gold? I don't know if I should do it. See there's some gorgeous gold in the middle there. I'm so tempted. I am, I am. Let's just, let's try it, hey? Let's put a little bit more of this in here. It's only paint, hey? It doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't, then I don't do it again, I know. I'm just gonna put a little bit through there. Is that bronze? Oh, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, now where's my little, my little swipe? Oh, there it is. I can't see it, it's clear. Um, hmm. I really need something there like this, I think. So that's too much paint there now. It's gonna be a problem. Too much paint. Um, hmm, so indecisive. All right, let's just do this. A little bit of gold, but just, just like that over the top is what I wanted to do and see how it worked. I don't know if it'll work or not. Is it doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, that didn't work. I thought maybe the gold would look really pretty, but no, it's not working. Um, let's swipe over that bit of gold. I can just experiment with these sorts of things on my own at a later date, can't I? So my black center has been eaten up by the gold. I might swipe and get that little bit there while I'm here. Seeing as I've missed that little dot there. Okay. Um, I like a little bit more black over here. Try and get that straight line. Yep. Okay, now um, I'm just going to see if I can put a little bit of enhancements on. But by the looks of it, the gold um, or the bronze is going to eat it up. See how that's eaten up my black in the middle? So I don't know if it's going to, to work really. Hmm. 
might just eat it all up. Yes, Ella. What's up, baby? I'm just kind of putting it, following the lines that are already there. Like so. You don't have to. I'm just adding a little bit more black. Oops, oh no, I shouldn't bring you guys in here when I'm painting, should I? No, come on, settle down. used to being in here. Right, I put them in the other room. Sometimes they're fine and don't make a peep, but then I put Ella in here, as I said, it's not used to being in here and just doesn't know what to do with herself. Okay, now I can't get my gloves back on, look. <laughs> All right, um, so there we go. Uh, the black, again, has been eaten up by the gold. Uh, so, I don't know if I like that one or not, but I'll put it up. You guys can have a little look, see what you think, um, and let me know. I'll, t I'll bring you down for a close-up. It's a bit hard to tell at the moment because it's, it's wet. But once it's dry and it's glossy, it will be a different story, won't it? Um, it's looking a little bit pale. Let me go and turn my lights off. Okay, that's better. I turned off my overhead lights. Oh, no, it's still looking weird. <laughs> I can't get the colours right. I'm looking through. It just looks really pale and sickly. Some pretty lacing. I'm not used to being on this table. I don't know where to stand. I'm getting shadows. So the red's looking more purple through my screen here. It's not not showing up the best colours. You can see how the the gold in the centre there's taken over that black line. There's not much of the black line left, is there? In the middle. Got eaten up by the gold. It's the extreme sheen that wants to create cells and go puffy and just be a bit of a bossy boots and take over. <laughs> um, so there we go, that's that colour scheme. Something a little bit different. You might like it, you might not like it. Um, but I've still got some of these colours left. So I'll probably need to go again and do something with them. Maybe leave the orange out. And we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.